it is an eerie irony. One of the biggest threats to a plane is its inspiration, birds. Birds can take aircraft down, and they have. Uh, this isn't the first time. You're never going to eliminate all birds from uh, any airport environment. Uh, the key is to try to manage the risk. Bird strikes, the official term used for collisions between aircraft and birds, are estimated to cause more than $600 million in damage every year, according to the FAA. They're most likely to occur during takeoff and landing and between the months of July and October. Between 1990 and 2007, there were more than 82,000 reported, though the FAA says that's probably just 20% of the actual total. The biggest threat to an aircraft, a bird being sucked into a plane's engine. Engines are particularly vulnerable in the fact that, uh, they, that you can shut down the power source. When you're looking at birds that are 8 to 12 pounds, uh, there's really not a component that's going to withstand that type of impact. The key, as Merritt mentioned, is managing the threat, one that has grown in recent years. There are more planes in the air and more birds, thanks to wildlife conservation efforts and environmental cleanup. Airports around the globe use harassment techniques like dogs, fireworks, even falcons to frighten the birds. Merritt's company is developing radar technology to help give pilots a warning. But as the pilot of U.S. Airways Flight 1549 demonstrated, good training can also make the difference. Typically, air pilots have very little opportunity to avoid birds. It's really more a matter of training to deal with the in-flight emergency once that happens. And I think pilots of, of all air carriers, and particularly military pilots, spend a great deal of time going through those checklists and simulators, practicing what happens when an engine's out. Practice that today proved to be a lifesaver. Now, for anyone who may be concerned about getting on a plane after seeing what happened today, I specifically asked Ron Merritt if we should be worried, and he said very quickly to me, no, definitely not, and don't worry if you see a bird outside of your window.